Elden Ring has a manga, the same game that has sold 17 million copies since February of this year. The same game where you fight a ginormous individual that uses gravity magic so they can sit on a very tiny horse. Or the fact that you can talk to a giant tortoise wearing a pope robe. Sign me up, count me in, give it to me now. Yes, it is true, it is real, Elden Ring has a manga. But it's not what you actually think it is, it's a comedy manga. It is taking pretty much everything you know and love about Elden Ring and putting a comedic twist that pretty much already exists within there and amplifying it tenfold. It is very on the nose. It doesn't take itself overly seriously, plays into a lot of tropes that you might recognize from the games or the community itself with memes, etc. Uh, and really just drives that home a lot further while playing around within the world and characters that is Elden Ring. Pretty straightforward. If you know the story of Elden Ring, you're getting more of it, but basically as a narrative experience, something that's more cohesively joined together as a narrative uh, while being pushed towards through a main character, which which obviously is our tarnished. What's great about this is that it actually plays out similar to how you would play the game. So for a lot, it will feel very comfortable. Will it provide a new perspective or understanding of the world or its characters, this, that, the third? At the moment, probably not. There might be little things that you find rather interesting on how information or lore for characters is given, but whether you can take that as officially being canon, probably not. Considering you see Godric the Grafted or even Melina, for example, in a really comedic light that is very far away from how they're depicted within the game obviously doesn't suddenly change their core characteristics or who they are or how they embody things, right? There may be lore elements, how the world operates or specific things within it that you might find new information about just through a comedic way. For example, it may be how Melina talks about specific things or the fact that she is actually seeking the tarnish uh, this type of way instead of the way that you get within the game. So you could argue that there is genuine canon elements within there but it's hard to kind of pick and choose what ones would work and what necessarily wouldn't. I think this is completely okay however. It's something entertaining. It's diving back into the Elden Ring lore and the world and its community and giving something that's not only very familiar but also within a different medium itself. The manga industry is massive, it's very popular and it makes sense that they would go down this route considering From Software's parent company is Kadokawa. And Kadokawa is a, a massive Japanese corporation that has a lot of their fingers in a lot of different avenues, but specifically the manga industry. They've handled and published a lot of successful manga over the years. So it makes sense that one of their biggest IP of this generation, they would make a spin-off variation for it. And I think they've definitely done their research. They haven't just got some random artist or author to take the reins of this project, but instead they pick someone that's very specific to this type of genre. They had a vision, I would say, that they weren't going to just retell the story of Elden Ring within a manga format, but they were going to have some creative liberty to it. In the grand scheme that makes sense, considering there is a lot of information that is probably unknown, a lot of information that uh, is probably exclusive to the development team or to George R. Munn, who is obviously a co-creator of the Elden Ring universe and some of its lore and characters, so that transferring over to a manga as nice as that would be probably would be very difficult uh, to construct by another person. It's kind of like taking an idea from George R. Munn, putting it within your manga medium, and then trying to connect all the dots and play it out so it actually works. A lot of the times it won't. I think that's why they decided to do it this way and instead have an author that is very comfortable with doing dark fantasy artistry mixed in with comedy. This author that is handling this manga is by no means a rookie. This is Nikichi Tobita and they have a good plethora of a lot of works under their belt but a lot are very similar in style to one another. They again handle the dark fantasy artistry behind it which is very beautiful, very very gritty, very grandeur, but then they take away that severity and replace it with comedy. Not always, it's not something that is 100% consistent 24-7, but they like to play into that route, obviously. This is one of their more serious works, Shinobi Gataki. As you can see, very beautiful artwork. This is a Cursed Sword's daily life, more comedy, more slice of life with pinch of fantasy elements here and there. Here's Monster Monster, as you can see, a good portfolio for adapting an Elden Ring manga. But then there's this one, How I Stalk Some Dude With an Exposed nipple and stumbled upon the Zenithian sword. That is genuinely the English title of this story. So of course they knew exactly what they were doing and they picked this person specifically because of the catalogue of work that they have. It's like a perfect combination. Let's not take it too seriously, let's kind of put more comedy elements within it. Or this person can draw really great fantasy artwork, let's do it. I'm very curious on how serious they want to take this and when I mean serious I mean so the length of it. It could be extremely long. They could create many different spin-off stories in the 
manga variation for Elden Ring. I feel like I heard somewhere that they wanted to do more of Elden Ring within different mediums and this is probably a great start for it. Seeing how the manga industry will take it and it makes sense for the company that owns From Software, so why not really? Uh, the reception for it seems to be pretty good. A lot of people are disappointed that it's not overly serious or like a unique retelling of the Elden Ring story but more so just a, a game walkthrough if you will. Uh, but still it has its own identity, it has its own appeal to it and if you are an Elden Ring fan or even a From Software fan, you're probably going to love this manga through and through. Again, only two chapters out currently. I'm not too sure how often this series is going to be updated or published or what the bigger picture for it is going to be. Do they want to cover the whole Elden Ring narrative? And if so, how do they interpret specific things? Do we find out more about specific characters or specific events within the Elden Ring lore that isn't necessarily given to you? So as much as it is a comedy manga, you still can learn a lot of interesting elements from the story itself. Ones that you have potentially never experienced before, but obviously within a different way. And whether you want to take those specific things as canon or not is entirely up to you. Personally, I do hope they take this route, exploring different things and expanding upon them in ways that are not only comedic, but also give more value to your understanding. Having that nice balance would work really well, but it can be incredibly difficult, rather tedious. And I think you'll notice that over time with how this story wants to shape itself. It's kind of difficult to judge now because it only has two chapters and it's not taking itself seriously at all and doesn't really have any qualities or terms that it wants to take itself seriously. By the way the chapters are titled, by the way you introduce to certain things, everything is just goofy and fun and enjoyable. Um, but there is obviously those opportunities to expand on different things in ways that you haven't seen before. So again I am curious over time if it's going to simmer down a little bit so you can learn new things about the world of Elden Ring or the characters or the lore or how this came to be or how that came to be while having that comedic twist to it. I think even just naturally you may find out a lot of new things depending on how much they want to do and what perspective of the story that they want to tell. For now all I would say is keep your eye out on it. It may not be interesting at the moment, you may not be all too excited for it, you may be a little bit disappointed that it doesn't take itself seriously but maybe give it a chance. You might be pleasantly surprised on how humorous it can be and how enjoyable you might find it but also over time there's a chance that you'll learn new things that you've never experienced before in a way that is completely refreshing and new for the Elden Ring experience. There's no promises on that as we don't really know the future for this manga and how they want to handle it but there's definitely an opportunity there. This author isn't an amateur by any means. They have the artistry, they have the prowess to really showcase a lot of these glorious things within the Elden Ring universe in very incredible ways and they're doing a ton of groundwork to establish very invigorating dialogue that is quirky and corny and channels into that uh, Japanese manga comedy that they love to play within. If this sounds like it is up your alley, I 100% recommend reading it. I'm sure we're all curious to see how they adapt certain things within the game, uh, what type of characteristics or mindsets, emotions, personalities they give specific characters. I'm looking at you Blythe and overall just how much love and attention they can pour into very specific things if they want to. Again this story isn't going to be for everyone but I think a lot of you will potentially enjoy it and over time maybe even come to love it. This is a great start for From Software to expand their horizons into different mediums and Katakawa is one of the biggest Japanese corporations to be able to do it. So if you want to see more adaptations of From Software titles, Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodboard even etc etc, I would highly expect them in the future. I think they plan to do a lot of different things with these games and with these IPs and explore them in brand new lights that you haven't experienced before. Go check it out, let me know your thoughts if you're an Elden Ring fan, if you're brand new to the franchise, whatever it may be. I'd love to know what you think about the Elden Ring manga.